living the dream, you know? I woke up this morning thinking, all you got to do today is ride a motorcycle and avoid that outlet mall over there. Well, this is still a tread pattern. Only about 6,000 miles to go. You don't know what love is. You fall in love one time You know she almost blew my mind Okay, I'm inside one of the my personal most dreaded places which is big box retail Like every minute I'm in a place like this I think I'm gonna want those minutes back at the end of my life That's why the towels are down Man, that was close. That's where they put it, and it gets dealt with properly. Okay, me and the Strom are parked in my birth grandmother's garage. I'm, I'm drinking from the fire hose of profundity. Okay, does this look familiar? <laughs> I'm gonna hit the road today. Uh, it's gonna be a long day. I got over six hours, over 400 miles. I need to get from Dayton, Ohio to Rockford, Illinois to get myself well positioned for tomorrow getting to my friend's music festival uh, north of Madison in Wisconsin. So, um, gotta learn those tunes. Kind of already know them, but should really nail it. And uh, that's it. We're, we're gonna go on the road here shortly. Uh, just filled up. This is the beginning of the day. Uh, it is with no small amount of sadness that I leave my family behind in Ohio. Um, every time I reconnect with them, it's just, uh, it's a really profound experience for me. And I hope, uh, for them, they, they seem to enjoy my presence, um, which just, I don't know, it makes me feel great. So uh, it was so hard to pull away from there. And yes, I'm getting a late start to the day, but we gotta start, we gotta go, we have to make miles. This is the task at hand and uh, I'm gonna do it. So on to Rockford, Illinois. Oh, and I'll tell you in advance, yes, I wanted to camp, and no, I'm not going to camp tonight because uh, by getting a, a hotel room, motel room, uh, that just bought me more time with my family this morning and I selfishly took that. So you guys will pay the price in not seeing another night of camping, but uh, I, I needed to do that. So there you go, on the road. fun here in Indiana. I don't know whose plan this is. It's a real gem of a plan. So it seems to be well thought out.
absolutely no movement on my lane. Maybe I do. I'm not sure that these guys have any idea how far they have traffic backed up. I've split lanes uh, illegally to get up here because this is ridiculous. And, uh, yeah, it's quite something. But at this point, I, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable splitting lanes anymore through a work site in a state where it's not legalized. I don't imagine that's going to go over too well. Oh, I'm seeing movement. Wow. I've been here 20 minutes. happened there in that construction but I am no longer on the road I'm supposed to be on welcome to Indianapolis we don't want to be here yeah I got screwed up on something there. coming days as I travel through the Midwest, I will see this scene many times. A small town on the railroad with a grain elevator, a water tower, and a bar. Well, back to heavens and the stars above. Marches at midnight love. Everything's alright in the garden of love. Okay, I was just riding along mm, that direction where that red truck's going and I saw the dugout drive-in which has got sandwiches and they got a lot of ice cream too but um, I just got some fries and I ate a sandwich that my mom who I didn't know for a long time and then after 33 years I knew her made for me that sounds like a song a sandwich that my mom made from 33 years, two turntables and a microphone. Uh, that's not a good song. <laughs> I guess that's the sandwich talking. Oh, here's one. It's just a sandwich that my mom made. In case the Reds decide to push the button down. I hear you mad about Ruby. Alright, that's enough. This is a good stop. I gotta get going. I was really encouraged to see so many windmills had been put up across the Midwest as I rode. I like to refer to windmills as more solar power because after all, what makes the wind? 
the sun. The skies began to change and get darker and had some ominous clouds and uh, I found myself having to duck and tuck in behind my fairing to bring my body you know into the slipstream and out of the rain but I wanted to continue making progress and not just stop and put my rain gear on for a few drops. Then again, sometimes rain gear is what you need, so back on with the rain gear.
just had to stop for a bite. Decided uh, a crematorium was a good spot. That's pretty random. But, um, gosh, what is it on this series? It's all cemeteries and, like, funeral parlors. <laughs> I might have to get a therapist. <laughs> I'm the only motorcyclist who needs a therapist. Um, just hope you guys enjoy uh, Chicago. It's one of my favorite all-time cities. I've spent quite a bit of time there over the years. I never really tire of it. Um, I never really tire of New York or San Francisco either. So, anywho. Um, hope you guys like Chicago. I got to get to Rockford. In another cheap motel, um, I, like I promised earlier in this episode, I would do, and that's just simply to have a longer day of riding, to get far enough so that tomorrow I have a really short drive, sorry, ride, before I have to get to uh, up by Madison and do this show play these songs and just hang out with my old buddy and his friends. So I'm going to meet some new people and play some music. There's nothing better than that, usually, especially with good musicians, and I expect these will be. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And today was a good ride. There was a bunch of interstate just to eat some miles, but then I got off the interstate. I got rained on a little bit. Uh, but I had a good um, Middle Eastern Mediterranean meal later. Uh, what else? Oh, I had a sandwich that my mom made. And that little drive-in was really cool. Um, very much the Midwestern American experience, um, which probably will continue for another day until I get to the West. And then things are probably gonna get hotter and more dramatic with the scenery. But, you know, if you like farmland, um, well, in Chicago is certainly dramatic. I, Chicago is one of my favorite cities. It's so cool. Um, old city, not quite as old as New York or Boston, but it's been there a while as, you know, a hub, really a gateway for everything coming out of the West going East and vice versa. So, um, and it kind of continues to be though, mainly through O'Hare and there's still a ton of railroad going in there and all kinds of business and commerce. So that's it, you guys. Sorry, the camera's shaking around a lot. <clears throat> going to bed. This is a uh, day, it doesn't matter what day it is, I don't know. This day's over. Tomorrow another one starts and we'll, they'll have some music in that one. <laughs>